Action! Oh, well hello boys and girls. Uh, welcome back to Term 3. And welcome back to school. Oh. That's right. We're not at school. We're at home. Again. Well, I'm in my living room. Uh, I'm now a pastoral care chaplain from my home for the next few weeks. Uh, as you can see, I ditched, I got rid of my shirt and my tie, and I'm wearing my udi. Now, udis are awesome. I love udis. They are a blanket. They are a hoodie, and they have huge pockets, and my one has German shepherds on them. So I am doing pretty good uh, during my remote work. Now, uh, you may remember, in the last week of school last term, we had an assembly where the theme was God's faithfulness. Now, in my talk, I, I spoke about Paul, how he was one of my favourite characters, and how he experienced some really good times. He also experienced some really tough times, but he believed that God was faithful throughout all of his life. You know, we're back at home now, uh, remote learning 2.0, and for me, it's remote work 2.0. But God is still faithful. He is still in control. Now, over these next few weeks, some of you will do really, really good. In fact, you may love being at home. You don't have to wake up early to get onto the bus. You can have your breakfast or any snack, really, whenever you like. And you can learn at your own pace. Also, there might not be those distractive people in your class that hinder you from learning. Others, you might not like being at home. Now, there could be a few reasons. Maybe you just love being with your friends in your classroom. Maybe home's not that pleasant at the moment. Maybe your brother and sister annoys you while you try to work. Maybe mum and dad are arguing a bit. Or maybe uh, someone in your family has, has lost uh, work. They're not working, and that's getting them a bit down. So for some of us, like Paul, it's good. Others, you know, things are a little bit tough. But you know what? Nothing has changed in that we are still all in this together. You know, uh, these times remind me of someone else in the Bible, another one of my favourite characters, and his name was Jonah. Now, if you've been at Heathdale for a few years, or maybe you even grew up going to church, you know who Jonah is. He's a dude that got eaten by a big fish. But for others of you who haven't uh, been at Heathdale for a while, or maybe you've never even walked into a church before, you might not know who Jonah was. Let me exp explain. Jonah was a prophet, which means he spoke to people on behalf of of God. Now Jonah was sent on a mission, a mission to save people. Now God came to Jonah in a dream and he asked Jonah to go to these people to save them. But Jonah went the other way. He didn't want to hear what God had to say and he jumped on a boat to escape to the other side of the world. That's, uh, that's pretty far-fetched. But you see while he was escaping on the boat God sent a storm to bring Jonah back to the land. But you see, Jonah jumped off or was thrown off and was eaten by a big fish. And that fish actually took him all the way back and spat him out onto the land. At this point, Jonah was saying, you know what, I probably should listen to God. And he marched all, of, all the way to a, a place called Nineveh, which was close to where he used to live. Now, Jonah... Uh, talk to these people and they changed the way they were living. They weren't living very right. But through Jonah's uh, preaching and his teaching, the people repented. They turned from their bad ways and they trusted in God. Now, you might be asking, Mr. Baird, what about the book of Matthew? I thought we were going to complete the book of Matthew at some point. That's true. We will get back to Matthew over the next few weeks. But for today... I wanted to talk about Jonah. You know, Jonah was a person who experienced disappointment. Disappointment that he had to go on this mission. Disappointment that he got caught in a huge storm at sea. And disappointment that he got in by fish. That, that would make me pretty bummed out. So, 
But when he got off the boat, he went to the land and, like I said, he uh, talked to the people and they changed. But that didn't make him feel happy. In fact, that made him feel depressed. He spoke to these people and they changed and yet he still felt upset about that. His emotions were all over the place. Now, trials or, or, or things that happen to us can make us feel emotionally unstable. You know, for some of you, like I said, you're going to do great during remote learning. You're going to feel positive. You're going to maybe set up your computer uh, in your bedroom. You're going to complete your work. You can maybe play soccer with mom or dad or your brothers or sister. Um, you can maybe do some cooking or plant a garden. You know, remote learning 2.0 is going to be great for you. But for others, you know, you might feel a little bit bored. Maybe you've got some other emotions. You might feel a little bit uneasy or, or sad or anxious that you can't be at school. Um, like I said, you know, for some, some students, home's not the best place to be at sometimes. There's just a lot of things going on. You know, whichever one uh, you, you are, whichever one, you know, you, you might sort of go between the two even, you know, some days you'll have good days, some days you might have not so good days, but, uh, you know, whatever you're feeling, feel free to reach out to your teachers. You know, if, if you've got some concerns about, uh, some of your learning, some of your assignments, some of your projects, ask your teacher, you know, if you're not feeling too great within you, maybe you're feeling a bit anxious or sad, maybe talk to mum and dad and they might be able to offer some advice. And like I, I mentioned many times last term, feel free to reach out to me. You can reach out to me at David Baird on Teams, or you can email me at dbaird at Heathdale. Um, over the last remote learning, sometimes I reached out to some of you boys and girls. No doubt you will remember that. I'll be doing that as well. You know, it might be a little message here, a little message there. Um, sometimes I, I might send a random message to you uh, if you would like, you can reply, but there's no need to. Basically, I'm just checking up on how everyone is going because I want to make sure that Remote Learning 2.0 is pleasant for each and every one of you. Now, uh, I know that we all like the Lego competitions uh, last term, so I thought we would finish today's devotion with a Lego presentation of the story of Jonah. You can see it for yourself. Anyway, I can't wait to get back into the book of Matthew next week. I might dress up next time because, you know, I'm just in my hoodie. It's big, it's comfy, it's warm, but we'll have to wait and see for next week. Anyway, bye for now.
Hmm. <laughs> 